It's finally Friday and it's weather for weather. Geeks time as we gear up for the uh, weekend. Some changes are afoot, that is for sure, after a rare rainy day today. The rain's gone for the weekend. The cooler air will return in its place. In the meantime, it's, you know, it's that time of the year. That I kind of think of November and March to early April as kind of being mirror images of each other, if you will. Uh, it's the time of the year that <coughs> you can see just about anything. Uh, we can see snow. We can see... Uh, heavy rain events, we can have heat, we can have cold at this time of the year. On today's date, back in 2014, we were in the middle of a pretty remarkably cold mid-November stretch with a high of 18 on today's date in 2014. We had 4.4 inches worth of snow <clears throat> at the Youngstown Warren Airport, and that was on today's date back in 2014. On today's date, 10 years ago, back in 2013, a doozy of a severe weather outbreak across parts of the Midwest, the Great Lakes, and into uh, the Mid-Atlantic region as well. No tornadoes around here, but on today's date back in 2013, there were some uh, tornadoes in uh, western and central Ohio, and especially out into Indiana, Illinois, in western parts of Kentucky as well. You know, sometimes there's a second severe weather season at this time of the year. You know, your big peak of severe weather comes in the spring, of course, but there can be a secondary season in parts of the country as you go into November and as colder air masses start clashing with residual warmth and moisture that uh, is still in place across the eastern U.S. Uh, this deep into the season. Well, nothing exciting like that today, but uh, we have had a rainy day. It's easily our rainiest day of November so far. Some rain gauge values, of course, a couple of bad readings on here, but there's a few rain gauges that are pretty close to an inch, uh, including one over in Stark County in Canton. In our viewing area, three quarters of an inch to approaching an inch. Pretty common in a lot of places. Um, so the rainfall might have overachieved just a little bit. Some of the computer modeling a couple of days ago, some of those higher totals shown by the models ended up, you know, verifying pretty well. So the more aggressive models uh, won some battles this time around. Our cold front's sliding through as we speak. It's already cleared most of our area, with the exception of down towards East Liverpool, over towards Elwood City. But, you know, the front's kind of like right here as of this recording at 7.15. So we've dropped into the 40s. Chilly, damp evening out there. It's uh, raw. Not very nice to be outside. You know, we have the... Uh, uh, we had the uh, holiday parade down in Columbiana with the tree lighting uh, along the traffic circle. And, boy, just not a very nice evening for that. A uh, great event, of course, but awfully damp and chilly out there this evening. The last of the raindrops will be here, or be gone, I should say, probably in a couple of hours at the latest by mid-evening. And then the sky will clear some as we head through the night tonight. We'll zip through Futurecast over the next few days. It's going to be a quiet few days. Expecting a good deal of sunshine for Saturday and Sunday as well. Uh, temperatures just a handful of degrees. Below the average for the weekend, Monday will feature some sun early, maybe uh, kind of a milky sky for the bulk of the midday and afternoon with a steady increase in clouds by the end of the uh, end of the day Monday and into Monday night. Temperature-wise this weekend, you know, keep in mind, of course, we're now into the second half of November. Our average high is about 48, 49 at this time of the year. So this is nothing unusual, but it is a big change compared to the, where we've been. We had 66 yesterday. We spent most of today in the 50s. But we'll manage 46 on Saturday and 48 on Sunday. Pretty cool, considering we'll have a fair amount of sunshine both days. Quick look at uh, next week, and, you know, my, my tune has not changed much here in the uh, lead-up to Thanksgiving. There's been some or there was at least a few days ago, some, you know, some crazy stuff being shared on the internet. You know, we're going to have that as we do every year, all winter long. There'll be people posting snow maps, you know, from crazy models and 10 days in advance and that sort of thing. Uh, if you're watching this video, chances are you, you're you a little more savvy than that to uh, trust those kinds of uh, uh, sources and, and obvious clickbait. Here's the reality for the couple of days before Thanksgiving. There's going to be cold enough air that uh, some lake effect snow showers will be problematic for some uh, downwind of the Great Lakes, with, but with this more of a kind of a west to southwesterly fetch for a lot of this, uh, these snow shower uh, or snow squalls and snow showers and lake effect snow bands will be more of a problem, I think, for far northwest PA, western New York, um, parts of Ontario, parts of uh, Michigan downwind from Lake Michigan. Um, but in our TV viewing area down here, you know, maybe a few snowflakes, that is about it. Not, not expecting any problems around here, but it is going to be a pretty chilly uh, holiday. We're talking mostly in the 30s for Wednesday and for Thursday, although some of the modeling is trying to kick out some of the, the cold air pretty fast. Uh, not ready to buy that modeling just yet, but some of the modeling has us getting back into the 40s on Thanksgiving, whereas some of, it, uh, keep, some of the modeling, I should say, keeps us in the 30s. We're going to go with cooler ideas for now until we see a little more consistency. But either way, looks pretty uneventful for Thanksgiving 
weather-wise. But the cooler air, it, it has some staying power. Now, will this be uh, you know, an Arctic air mass? Not really, no. Um, but the end of November, and maybe the first handful of days of December, are not looking particularly mild east of the Rockies. Now, a pattern flip will be a distinct possibility as we get into the second and third weeks of December. Uh, so you'll see the blue go out west and the uh, reds and oranges come east. And I still think that idea holds a lot of you know, merit at this point. I do think that uh, December is likely to turn out to be a mild month, although the month may start a little bit cooler than the average. Thank you for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight and all week long. Hope you and yours have a great Friday night, a great weekend. And let's geek out to some more weather coming your way on Monday.